Are we recording again? We are. Okay, author notes, Michael Anderley, written May 2nd, 2018. When were my first, then? Were they on the same day? May 8th. Uh, May 8th, I think, is yours. Oh. Thank you for not only reading our story, but now my little author notes after the amazing version, version Ellie just supplied. I guess not, if I did mine. Anyway, I suck. Actually, I'm behind on writing a book, and writing my author notes after Ellie gave me days to finish them was just horrible. I have no idea why I didn't remember to do them Sunday night. Hell, I hope that I didn't do them and forget. That shit would be tragic. <laughs> we were talking past Romeo and Juliet level <laughs> stuff here. If I wrote those and then find out I forgot and that I had done them already. Imagine if I like found them now. I'd be so pissed. <laughs> You've done that more than <laughs> once though. Yes, I know. It's, it's really frustrating. And maybe that's why you know, put May 2nd on there. It could. I hope not. <laughs> I'm not sure the logic, but uh, maybe something going on. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> you know, Ellie is one of the most decent individuals I know, and certainly the smartest. I do give her a bit of trouble sometimes about what I would perceive as a given, but she will keep focusing on why it just isn't right. In inverted comments. Uh, Ellie, edit, you make me sound like I have some innate sense of morality or something, which isn't quite accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't interject a long rant discourse on my thoughts right here. You're clearly gearing up to make a point. <laughs> but you've just fucked over, but that's okay. Like lobsters. If you haven't read her author notes, you really must. Otherwise, what I'm going to write here will make absolutely no sense at all. No, go ahead. I'll wait. Hang on, but who, who would read your author notes and not read mine? <clears throat> I couldn't answer that. But are, you, are you telling perhaps. me that people tell you that they, they read yours and they don't No, read uh, okay. I'm not. Oh, so I'm this just... is just an assumption that you've made. Okay. No, actually, it's probably me trying to find another way to place 20 more words into my author notes. No, go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, you back. Good. So Ellie has been pro-humanity, con stupidity. Read that as leaning toward why can't we all just get along ever since I have known her. Ellie, okay, I suppose that is accurate and an amusing way of putting it. Go on. <laughs> it's like, I'll allow it. <laughs> yes. Not that I knew that originally. What I knew originally was that Sean Platt knew her from an internet mastermind group he was involved in. I learned the above PHCS focus during our effort to work the beats on the Ascension myth. I just pronounced it correctly in my mind. Ellie, just saying. And I like to work the feels of my collaboration into our story or it doesn't resonate. Ellie no. edit, ha ha ha, he normally calls it the accention myth. Since the beginning, since the beginning. <laughs> Do you remember actually being at a Sean Platt event, having the conversation about this? Or was it, was it at the Sean Platt event? It must have been. <laughs> it was, it was. We had, and we, we were talking... originally talked about it at the first time you were invited, I think, because y'all had just been to the event or something. And uh, it was in the room that was a big square one. Anywho. You are listening to Author Shenanigans, two authors separated by a common language.